is like Esau. The voice is like Jacob. The spirit of counterfeit. Whoever is counterfeiting you. Whoever is using your identity. Whoever is taking your picture to travel in the realms of the spirit. In order to deprive you of your chance. In order to ruin you of your opportunity. As I hear your ailment. That satanic seed catches fire. It catches fire. It catches fire. It catches fire. It catches fire. the spirit of delay as Jacob was leaving Esau was entering meaning if Esau had come on time he would have been able to get hold of the blessing as Jacob was leaving Esau was entering look at the spirit of delay people say delay is not denied sometimes when delay is not handled it can lead to deny. Le Krabash. Look at the ten virgins. Five foolish, five wise. He said the bridegroom delayed in coming. Meaning if the bridegroom had come on time, their oil would not have burnt out. Anything that has made your helpers, that has delayed your helpers from coming. As I hear your ailment on this mountain, it catches fire. Hallelujah. Well, let's give the Lord a hand for that strong word. Hallelujah. I will love to tell you what I think of Jesus. Mm. For I found in him a friend so strong and true. I will tell you, I will change my life completely. He has done for me what no other friend could do. No one ever cares for me. There's no other friend so kind as him. No one else could take my sins and darkness from me. Oh, how much he you cared for me. Shout hallelujah. 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 Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. your seat Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, not and powers, against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness dealing with invisible battles dealing with invisible battles the major battles of life are unseen the roots of most battles are unseen visibly with the physical eye, with the optical eyes. The reason why battles are prolonged is because the attackers are not known. The strength of the wicked is the invincibility of their dynamics and operation. What keeps you prolonged in an affliction is when the root cause is not known and even if it is known, the knowledge of how to handle it is not exposed. Many people in families, Paul said in 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9, a great door and effectual was opened to me. He said, but at Attached to this door are many adversaries. So what was Paul saying? There are opportunities open to me. There are dimensions of liftings that I can perceive. He said, but these doors, whenever I look at them, I see adversaries attached to the door. Every great destiny is surrounded by warfare. Every great destiny is surrounded by battles. God said... I have given Sihon into thy land, into thy hand. The Deuteronomy 2, verse 23, 24. He said, begin to contend with him in battle. Anytime God gives you a great destiny, attach to your greatness is an enemy. Attach to your lifting is a strong man. Attach to your opportunity is a contention. Everyone that must be great must be ready to fight. But you must understand the spirituality of battle. That is why it takes spirits to engage spirit. Am I speaking to somebody here? And sometimes when your eyes open to really see those who are fighting you, physically they can't match you. In, I mean, with knowledge they can't match you. In contact they can't match you. But the strength of the enemy is in darkness. That was why darkness confronted God. Darkness came for creation. He said, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the God was done. God was true. God had completed. But verse 2, he said, darkness was upon the face of the deep. And what confronted darkness? The spirit of the Lord. So in other words, whenever you are confronted with a battle and there are enemies you cannot see, also engage them with a spirit that you cannot see. It takes spirits to the spirit. The Bible says, if the trumpet blows an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself for battle? When you don't understand the sound of the trumpet, you don't know where the battles are coming from. That is why you know you should have been married, but you don't know what is wrong. You know you should be blessed, but you don't know what is wrong. You know you should be rich, but you don't know what is wrong. Something is resisting you. Something is fighting you. He said, and Joshua the high priest stood, and Satan stood at his right hand to resist resist him. Hear me. If there is someone standing to resist you, there is a spirit ready to assist you. And today we shall engage that spirit. Every battle that you have been fighting, every invisible battle in your life, they say you can't get married. They say you can't have a child. They say you can't get money. They say you can't build a house. We came to decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will not just read. You will walk on high places. 
I said you will walk on high places. Neighbor. Where no one has entered, you will enter. Neighbor. I said you will walk on high places. Neighbor. The price has been paid. Oh. Lift your way and shout, I receive. I receive. Think that's it. Everything Jesus did. Tonight I'm talking, I'm dwelling this night on Jesus. Is our focus tonight. The price. You know what the Lord did? Why he came was to restore man. That's why he came. So what he did? He prayed. Before he went to Gethsemane, he had to reverse what was done in the garden. In the garden, the bride gave to the groom to eat. Took off the fruit and fed the groom. So before Jesus went to the garden of Gethsemane, he reversed it. He brought a supper. The groom had to give to the bride. When he gave the bride, he went to the garden. That was why Jesus didn't die as a thief. He, would know he died as a gardener. He, he, he was picked from the garden of Gethsemane. He died as a gardener. If you read John 20, 15, when Mary Magdalene came, he said he was supposing him to be a gardener. He, he rose with the, with, the, with the dressings of a gardener because he had brought man back to the garden that man left. He had restored man to the garden that man fell from. Am I talking to somebody here? And how he prayed himself into that garden. That was why he went to the garden of Gethsemane. Am I speaking to somebody here? He corrected what was altered. I prophesy. I don't know the invisible powers that are standing against and resisting me. But there is something I know. He that is from above is above all. You may not see them, but we have identified them now. He said they call them principalities. They call them powers. They call them rulers of the darkness of this world. They call them spiritual wickedness in high places. I don't see you, but pray I don't know you. I may not see you, but pray I don't know you. Because if I know you, I will soon see you. Am I talking to somebody here? I didn't see them, but I identified them. He said they call them principalities. They call them powers. I project myself in the realm of the spirit and stand side by side with you. And together we enter your father's house. Together we enter your mother's house. Wherever they said no one can assess, I fear that curtain. I fear that curtain. I fear the 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 curtain. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Lift your hands out and receive and receive. There are people, they know, they know that this is not where they should be. They know. They know. They understand that as each day passes, life is fading. Capacity is not being tapped. They know. They know that there are many people who appear to be in front of them but don't carry what they carry. They know this is not where I would have been if not my village people. They know if not my people after me, this is not where I, I came to attack them. If they said you will not be what God wants you to be, listen to me. Listen to me. It is not crime to look for trouble. 
but it's not wrong to retaliate. I say it's not a crime to look for trouble, but it's not wrong to retaliate when somebody comes for you. Proportionately, I'm, I'm saying this now, someone will go down today because of you. In the year that King Uzziah died, I also, he didn't say I saw the Lord, I also, means others have been seen, I didn't see, but now I also, others have been buying cars, I couldn't buy, but now I also, others have been accelerated, I could not accelerate, but now I also, every good thing you have seen, happen in the life of people, you also, I say you also, somebody shout I receive, take your seat, people born with potential, and they end up as a reproach. Look at Samson. Samson became, Samson's failure became a byword and a proverb in the whole of Israel. Samson was the first Nazarene. Samson is the founder of the Nazarene nation. Samson is the founder of the nation, the clan called Nazareth. He was the first Nazarene. Because he failed, despite the potential he had, he became a proverb. Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? In other words, we know the founder. We know the first man that came from there. He ended as a waste. So when God wanted to bring Jesus, he did not bring him from Benjamin. He didn't bring him from another tribe. He entered into Bethlehem and fixed him from Nazareth. He said the same place, they said nothing good can come out from. That is why it's called Jesus of Nazareth. Nazareth. Am I talking to somebody right now? The reason why he attended to Bartimaeus quickly was because Bartimaeus had an understanding of where he was coming from. You listen to me right now. So when Jesus came, what they said nothing good can come out from in Acts 10 38. He said, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, who went about doing good. They said no good can come out, but this time it did not just become the good. He was distributing good. What they said no one can have in your family, distribute it from now. Hey, I don't like, I said distribute it from now. What they say you cannot assess. You will not just enter there. You will become there. I say you will become there. Somebody shout fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Somebody shout fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Somebody shout fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Take your seat. Mm. Mm. Are you ready? Wow! I'm going to classify them into two. Into three. Principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world. I'm going to classify them into three. Number one. Principalities and powers. Principalities, powers are the world of witchcraft. The strength of witchcraft because principalities are domineering forces. And one of the elements of witchcraft is dominance. When, there are, when you see somebody who doesn't want anybody to be head aside him or her, that is the manifestation of a witch. That is why the spirit of Jezebel has entered the church. That a pastor can kill another pastor because he feels that the pastor is a threat. He that killed by the sword shall die by the sword. Anyone that has attempted to take life, their life shall be taken. Since to kill, since to kill people is good, you will die so that you experience it. Anyone that wants to take you shall replace you. Dominance. Dominance. Witchcraft. He said, throw down Jezebel, for our witchcrafts are many. First Kings 19, First Kings 19 verse 22. Our witchcrafts are many. Lift your hand. I just had something now. There is a witch. Second Kings 19, sorry. There's a witch that's about to drop because of you. Ay, 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 ay,
what is witchcraft witchcraft the word witch means to divert the word craft is an act is an art or a specialty am i speaking to somebody when you tell somebody what is your craft in other words what is your expertise what is your talent what do you do so when you say witch divert craft and art so witchcraft is the art of diverting if something is straightened and structured organized to go in a certain direction once witchcraft come it diverts it the young lady that was ordained by god to graduate she gets to her third year she's diverted somebody was planned by heaven to meet a great guy to get married to and that is why you need helpers in your life rayab was not born a prostitute condition led that into it people took advantage of her but god sent two spies why did god send two spies if it was one of them that met rehab he would have fallen because rehab was a harlot he would have been tempted but they were two you if one is going down one will threaten the other so it was two of them that went there and rehab understood when he saw those men all of a sudden the picture of what her destiny looked like came to her that she would saw herself as a woman of dignity i am not to sleep with men i am to keep men she suddenly saw herself there was something that told her these men are coming to me for succor i can't depend on them for funds and she kept them when god was true with her rehab married a man called salmon salmon and rehab gave birth to a man called boaz boaz was a great guy boaz gave birth to obed obed gave birth to jesse jesse gave birth to De yeah, 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 yeah. gave birth to david and jesus is the son of david so inside rehab was the king of kings inside but a witchcraft power diverted her there is something inside of you that you don't know when the bible say i bless the lord all my soul and all that is within me it wasn't talking of your intestines it wasn't talking of your kidney it was not talking of your liver all that is within me the company within me the investment within me the millions of pounds within me the millions of dollars within me there is something inside of me and today it shall manifest Amen. I am studying my Bible. Maybe somebody has found it. I've not found it. When God casted out the spirit of witchcraft. No. You don't cast the spirit of witchcraft out. You kill the witch. You kill the witch. I'm trying to let you know because some of you, when they say witchcraft, you expect to see somebody with some horns or somebody that flies at night. There are witchcraft operations in offices. There are wizards in churches. There are wizards in, in, in stations, in, in places, in positions of authority. No one was, must rise aside them. No one must succeed aside them. There are people that they believe that they are the territorial commanders of certain areas. If anybody is trying to rise up politically, they swallow the person. If anybody is trying to rise up in a, the academia, they but not anymore after this encounter any force of witchcraft it expires in the name of jesus take your seat people say a christian can never be a witch but a christian can be bewitched ah, a christian can I surprise you, those of you who are pastors? Can I talk to you? There are prophets in court, and there are ministers in court that when they take your mic, when they look at certain people who God has blessed in your church, they bewitch them. That is why there is so much games that a pastor is going somewhere to preach, and we ask another person, who are the rich people around? Once you see anybody do that, that is a satanic agent from hell. Tell me, I'm telling you what's going on. Tell me those God has blessed. What, what do you need them for? 
There are some of you, your ministry, you are the general overseer of guest speakers. Three-day program, seven guest speakers. When you bring guest speakers, you get guest members. Grow your church yourself. Am I talking to somebody here? And you bring all kinds of people. And have, imagine, after a program that should bless, bless life, the wind change. Something strange begins to happen. Because that person is moving about with a bewitching force. And when people are bewitched, they lose their senses. Galatians 3 verse 1. Who has bewitched you, O foolish Galatians? Once people are bewitched, they start behaving like fools. Who have bewitched you? Who have bewitched you? Galatian church was a wealthy church. It was a church that had the understanding of the new creation realities. It was in Galatian church that the Lord said, Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. But yet they were bewitched. Am I talking to somebody here? There are many people who have been bewitched. A man wakes up, all of a sudden he carries his load. He says he's leaving the house. He's a pastor. He's not a witch, but he is bewitched. A member, why are you not coming again? I don't feel like. I'm praying. He or she has been bewitched. This is a person who you see pray. Speaks in tongues. Because once you allow an opening... Bewitchment comes on the platform of the weakness that the individual has. If it's an individual who is prophecy conscious, a bewitched prophet will capture him. If it's an individual who is money conscious, somebody in business will give him a reference for a business that if it, it will capture him. So bewitchment comes on the platform of your weakness. Am I talking to somebody here? Look at all the sons of Abraham, from Abraham himself. They were bewitched. Anytime that lineage sees a fair woman, Abraham saw Sarah, she was fair to look upon. Isaac saw Rebecca, fair to look upon. So Satan strategically positioned women on their, on their weakness. What you call altar only thrives on your weakness. That is why you can never break out of foundation only by prayer. You must check the weakness the family members have and make that weakness your strength. How do you make that weakness your strength? Look for people who that weakness is their strength. So that whenever you go around them, you are not comfortable to practice that weakness. Nobody's following me at all. When the, your father was stingy, very stingy, you know it's a pattern in the family. Become best friends with a giver so that he will mock you for being stingy. He will provoke you for being stingy so that when you break out of that stingy spirit, you have broke because the strength, not you will pray against strong man and you'll be tired. So long they have an element in you. That's why Jesus said, the prince of this world cometh and he had nothing. Look at the Lord's prayer. Can we recite it? Our father. Uh -huh. Hello, thy kingdom. Don't bring it on the screen. Don't bring it on the screen. Thy kingdom, thy will, liar. Those who, are, who, who follow my Bible studies will know what that will be done in earth, not on earth. All of you is on earth. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. From Matthew chapter 6, if you get down, that will be done on earth. In earth rather, not on earth. Now, who is the earth? You are the earth. You are the earth. The heaven is the spiritual. You are the earth. Am I, when the Bible said the earth is the Lord and the fullness, it was talking of you. Because man came from dust of the earth. You are the earth. There is something that has been done in me when I was created in the spirit. Which is my heavens. Let that same thing that was done in me when I was created in the spirit, let it now be done in me in the physical. Not on, in. So it was not talking of the cosmos, a location. It was talking of the individual. Many people are bewitched. Some people say, oh, some, some people say, this, 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 this lady <clears throat> was very deceptive. While she was cutting, she was humble. In courtship, she was nice. Now she's gotten married. As soon as she got married, she changed. She didn't change. As soon as she got married, a bewitching force entered her. 
who was married in that family. So as soon as she was bewitched, another identity showed forth. And the enemy began to give expression through her life. Am I speaking to somebody right now? Anytime you see rebellion, you see witchcraft. Because witchcraft is like the sin of rebellion. You study your Bible, First Samuel chapter 13, 23, De Deuteronomy chapter Eight, verse 10, Micah chapter 5 verse 12 says, I will cut off witchcraft from thy land. I don't know whether it's the work of a witch. Listen, anyone bewitched can be free. But a witch should be killed. Can I repeat it? Anyone bewitched can be free. We can bewitch a bewitched. If somebody is bewitched, we can bewitch you. When somebody has excess warm, what do you do? You deworm. So if you have excess bewitchment, we dewitch. So a bewitch can be, can be unwitched. There are people that are bewitched. And information enters a man's ear who was ordained to help you. Senseless information. Unfounded information. All of a sudden, he changes his mind. It's not an information he had. His ears were bewitched. There is something I, I, I don't use the word. Hate is a strong word. There's something I dislike and that is promises of men. If you come to me and say, Papa, there's something I'm expecting. If it comes, I tell you, stop that. Those that give, don't announce it before time. Don't tell, don't, 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 don't do that. I don't like to be promised. Not because I don't like promises. It's because of what I went through in my life. From promises. You know, when people promise you, you spend what you have. You spend everything you have. I don't like promises. And most time, when, that is why when I make promise to people, I feel upset. Not at the promise. The spirit of people waiting... There are some of you, you have spent the money in your head. I've seen, oh Lord, you don't want to know. Someone had promised me that in 2008, somebody promised to give us 60 church buses. I had gone to Lagos to prize. I didn't like the prize. I went to Port Harcourt. I was selecting prizes for money I didn't have. I was going to places to prize. They now saw a guy who said, there is a man in the east. He just started doing buses and doing stuff there. They mentioned, they, no recommendation at the long list. He said, just get the prize. Get the prize. I'm doing 60. I said, don't you think like 10 will be okay? He said, no, 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 no. This ministry, with what God is doing, I see a future. I'm doing 60. I was excited. And I began to thank the Lord. I called this man. He said, no, 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 no. I'm putting the money together. I called again. In fact, I had already started strategizing. What do I do? How am I going to pay 60 drivers? What do I do? Oh, see, okay, no, no problem. I told myself I was going to keep like 30. I was going to share another 15 for some of the young branches we had. And I'll look for some ministers of God who have problem with uh, mobility and give them. I called and called and called. I called and called and called. I called this man. I prayed. I started praying. I was like in security. I was praying for him. Nothing must happen to him. Oh. He must not die. He must not be sick. I was praying and praying and praying. This guy was not doing anything. After a while, he gave me a call. He said, oh, sorry, sorry. After like a month, when I saw, I said, thank you, Lord. Sir, um, I was just there. He said, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Eh? After one month of several calls, I'm on it. I sent him a message. I just said, please, can you just give me a yes or a no? He sent me a long message, insult, abuse, asking me what money did I give him to keep? Said a lot of things. I replied, from that day, don't promise me nothing. I want to sleep well. Don't promise me nothing. Politicians have come. Sir, if I become governor, I say, oh God, that's the door. 
I'm not praying for you because there's something I want from you. I'm praying for you for a better state. I'm praying for you because you must give dividends of democracy. I don't promise people. I surprise them. I don't promise people. I surprise because I am being a victim. Sometimes the names of God were founded on the experiences of men. You can't know Jehovah Rapha. You can't know Jehovah Shalom if you have not looked for peace. When you now find peace, Jehovah Shalom makes sense to you. When you find supply and provision, Jehovah Jireh becomes relevant to you. The names of God were founded on the platform of the experiences of men. Witchcraft. I can tell you. Witchcraft has swept marriages. That's why you see a man who live in a mansion and go and start squatting with a student whose bed is on the ground. It will leave a woman or someone who prepares pounded yam, all kinds of meal, and be squatting with somebody who is giving him Indomie. And he's eating it, and you are insulting him. No, you don't insult them. He has been bewitched. A man came to me with his wife and said, Papa, I want to see you. Both of them agreed. They said, you wedded us, you joined us. So we came for you to disjoin us. You bless the marriage, so now we want to separate in peace. And I had a problem. When I was preparing for ministry, I learned how to join. I didn't learn how to separate. They didn't teach me that in Bible school. They lied to me. They didn't tell me there was how to... So I told the man, I said, I don't know how to do that one. So he said, just, just anything, just, just deserve us. Took the ring, drop on the table. The man took the ring, drop on the table. And I said, talk to me, what is going on? The man started talking. I, when he talked, I said, it's okay, it's okay. What happened? He continued talking. It wasn't making sense. He talked, the woman was quiet. When she started, <laughs> you know you cannot argue with a woman. She will win. That is why lawyers wear weak. For you to win an argument, you have to be a woman. For you... <laughs> That's why lawyers have to wear wig. For you to be to win an argument, you have to become a woman. When she started her own, I said, mm. When you feel I say, okay, what is the problem? Because both of you are not making sense. I could see people whose eyes have been covered. Husband bewitched, wife bewitched. And one of the strengths of bewitchment is that once you are bewitched, the devil only shows you where you are right. No! They can't treat me like this. But the devil doesn't show you when you were treated well. The devil doesn't show you when you got things you did not deserve. The devil shows you it could have been more. This is little. The way I'm being treated. The devil didn't show her that there are many people unmarried. The devil, this lady was angry. With the man, not for not giving him her entitlement, the way he was splashing on his own family and not her family. I said, They bought your father a car. He said, Yes. Your mother a car. He said, Yes. He said, He bought his own mother. No, 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 sadly. He also bought his sister. He also bought his brothers. I said, How many of, of you are married in your family? You are, are four. How many men bought your father cars? She kept quiet. Only your husband bought. As you see what the devil, Satan is bringing entitlement to you. And once you start feeling entitled, you lose your title. The little one that God has exposed. I know what I'm, I have seen people crash. As soon as, is it bewitchment? As soon as the devil is done, he walks away. He comes to you, sneaks. Have you seen Mount Zion films? You see where those demons come? They'll whisper to you when they finish. This one's not consigned me. I'm done with what I came for. Bewitched. There are people who have eaten meals and they bewitched via that. I'm telling you the truth, sir. There are pastors who have been given suit, clothes. If you're a married pastor, whoever buys you a gift, you buy for your wife. I'm telling you, because a couple is hardly bewitched. Nothing fights bewitchment like unity. 
once the person buys for you, buys for your spouse, in the realms of the spirit, there's a reaction. But there are people that enjoy it without their spouse getting. I'm talking to somebody here. Somebody buy you suit, buy you shoes, buy you that. And gives your husband an envelope. Gives uh, your wife an envelope. And, and the person buying this is a lady. Agenda will not agenda. Anyone that wants to bewitch you. Women are also bewitched, not just men. What are you talking about? When drivers start showing unnecessary teeth to madam. I'm starting, madam, take her. The way your guy is treating you is not nice. I understand. Take her. And the woman is confiding. Bewitchment is starting. When ordained ministers begin to bewitch resident pastors, by letting is rejected, and Satan capitalizes on standpoints, there are people today who are living in error. Can I ask you a question? That old man that has become a security man, you think he, he liked it? That old man of 75 who opens your gates was a man whose youth was bewitched. He has realized how to become responsible to himself, but he realized it in his evening stage. And when you realize yourself in your ninth time, you only live for survival because your strength has been dissipated and is minimal. Your productivity is minimal. Bewitchment. Witchcraft. The second class is occultism. 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 Occultism is the operation and dimension of activating mystical practices engaging in diabolism through the use of mediums. Engaging in diabolism through the use of mediums. Activating mystical practices. Esoteric involvement. Esoteric involvement. Operating outside the scope of science and nature. Operating outside the scope of science, nature, and humanity. Occultism. Occultism. There are people that are occultic. And the strength of occultism is groupings. They sit together and engage. It can be a secret cult. It can be a public cult. And the agenda is to involve that is why when you see some two, two, three people just gather and they, they tie, they, they, they put beret on their head. Is it beret? They fly some beret and they sack their trousers and say they are called. That's not called. That's gang. Hey, where are you? Why are you, why are you flying our color? That's gang. That's, that's local gang. It can only be called a cult when spirits are involved. When they deploy the use of mediums, esoteric operations, there are places that are occultic, but they call them church. Any involvement of spirits, they prescribe this. I, you see, I, I'm, I'm trying to be careful because when you talk, some people will think you are talking to them. That's how life is. Anytime you speak, the guilty feel you are attacking them. You personalize it. But many of us have been involved in places. You went to prophets who carried you to the river and did something. That's occultism. Sir, that's occultism. Take this thing. Tie it so so place. Wake up 2 a.m. Bow your head. All of those practices are occultism. There are people, occultic people, that when they give you money, Everything concerning your wealth is extracted. Occultism. Certain men, Acts chapter 23, from verse 12 down, certain men bounded themselves together and came under an oath that they would not eat or drink. Occultic men understand the mystery of fasting. You don't know what I'm saying. There are people when they give them chance, you see, one of the strengths of the occult is discipline. 
If you are looking for indiscipline, come to the church. The awkward one, they will give somebody a charm. They will say, avoid touching any woman for the next two months. Go lie down in the cemetery for one week. Face the sun. A herbalist told a professor that when next is coming, he should wear a white coat, suit, and carry a black goat. Can you see the contrast? One extreme to another extreme. White suit, black goat. In the afternoon, he should pack his car from far and he should carry the goat on his head and pass through the market square to his place. The man said, I'm a professor. The man said, I'm a native doctor. You are a boss where you are. I'm boss where I am. These things are happening. People have been giving things. People, I'm talking about the use of medium. You went to see a native doctor and he gave you something. He, he said you should talk. Say what you want. You said everything you wanted. He now took it. He now also talked. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? He now also talked and said. You wish good for yourself. He took that thing and said, all you have wished for yourself, it transferred to his children. It transferred to this. It transferred to that. And all the problems that would have come for those children, it transferred to you. After that, he threw it into the water. Now you are born again. You are a child of God. <laughs> all things are passed away. All things become new. So a pastor's wife taps the husband. Honey, I saw myself swimming in the river. Sleep, not dream. My love, I saw myself, they were chasing me. I saw myself in my school uniform. Sleep, not dream. It doesn't handle it. It extends to the children. It extends to the grandchildren. Because of past occultic practices. There was a man in, <laughs> as Paul Peter was preaching, everybody referenced this man in Acts chapter 8. His name was Simon. The Bible said he was a sorcerer. Any form of sorcery is witchcraft. He said, now he casted a spell on the whole city. And everybody saw him as some great man. I want to decree. Anyone that has cast spell, casted a spell on you or anyone around you. The spell is broken. Because of time, I, I will leave the third one. What's the remedy? How do I break out from invisible battles? Number one, light. Somebody say light. Oh, say light. Say light. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Against what? Spiritual wickedness. And against rulers of the darkness. So their strength is what? Darkness. You need light to confront them. Light to confront them. The Bible says in Genesis 1 verse 4, and he saw that the light was good. Anytime there is light, there is good. Light. Light. Exodus 10, 23. The children of Israel had light in their dwellings. The reason they were distinguished was because light was resident in their abode. They had light in their dwelling. Nothing sanitizes an ambience. Or an atmosphere like light. Sir, even if a place smells nice, without light, you're uncomfortable. You walk into a place that's dark and everywhere smells nice. You hear sound. The first thing you say is do what? Put on the light. 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 In Psalm 36 verse 9, he said, With thee, O Lord, is the fountain of light. For in thy light shall we see light the bible says in psalm 27 verse 1 the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the strength of my life of whom shall i be afraid you need light you need light in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 he said the path of the just is like a shining light that shineth more and more unto a perfect day 
in second chronicles i believe chapter 11 either 11 7 or 12 7 he says that god promised to bring a light to david and his sons forever in Ephesians 5 verse 14, he said, Awake thou that sleepeth, arise from the dead, and Christ shall give the light. In Psalm 119 verse 105, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light. In Psalm 119 verse 113, the entrance of thy word give it light and give it understanding to the simple so it takes simplicity to enjoy light it takes simplicity complexity abuses the potency of light it takes simplicity to enjoy light so what is light light manifests in several dimensions the first dimension of light is information anytime you are informed you are lighted There are two kinds of illiterates on earth. Those that cannot read and those that do not read. Can I repeat myself? There are two kinds of illiterate. Those that cannot read and those that do not read. Because anything you don't know you become a slave to. Don't, I said there are many balances, many cliches, many proverbs that are senseless. If you follow them, you'll be stranded. That's why if you watch, if you listen to all the proverbs of our fathers and you follow our fathers and all their proverbs, you will end up like them. There are so many proverbs they give and you're wondering if they know so much, why are they stranded? They can only give you proverbs that helps your mind. But in today's modern society, they don't work. What is one of them? Which person? No, no. No, they kill him. Now they kill him. Ignorance is not an excuse in the law. I didn't know. They say, sorry, it's not an excuse. You don't know. There are books you don't read. You can't lead if you don't read. Every leader is, every reader is a leader. Anytime you start reading, you are building up the leadership in you. Lead, reading is what gives you ideas, gives you information to create a following. What is a leader? A leader is one that people follow willingly. If you call yourself a leader and nobody is following you, you are merely taking a walk. Read. Pastor, read. Pastor, read. Hey, God call you. Please go to school. It's important. Don't be a pastor that's not educated. I'm sorry. It's, it, it sounds very discriminatory. But I'm giving you the reality of today's world. Lack of education puts a restriction to your delivery. There are people that will come to you as an illiterate prophet, but they will go to another pastor as their pastor. They'll come to you to collect your gifts. Go somewhere else that they can relate with. The pastor was preaching and Jesus entered into the sinner, the sinner, and Jesus entered into the sinner, the sinner, and Jesus entered into the sinner, the sinner, and Jesus entered into the sinner. Go ahead, go ahead. The synagogue became the sinner. Go ahead, go ahead. Somebody say light. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Information. Study. 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 Read books. Paul was an addicted reader. Look at Peter. He ended up as a fisherman. First Peter, second Peter. Brief. So even if there is grace on your life, you need your mind to be lighted. It empowers your delivery. Look at these men. They sat with Jesus. They followed him. The knowledge that they acquired was the knowledge they contacted by following. But it restricted their delivery because they were, their mind was not informed. There is something about the mind and that is why to be saved you need to have an enlightened mind. The God of this world have blinded the mind. 
There are people today who God has already released and positioned a soul to be saved. They are going for evangelism. They are sent to win souls. They are arguing with souls. They are arguing with souls. You are sent to win souls and you are so confrontational. I said, Jesus is Lord. I said, Jesus is the Son of God. He said, the man says, it's a lie. <laughs> eh. So you are telling me now that you know more than me. And the first thing about evangelism is that your atmosphere must be with love. Love. The smile. And that is why there was a group of people that would go from door to door. They would hold one small bag. I like those people. Who, I'm telling you, I like their zeal. In fact, I like their life. Criticize me, no problem. But I'll tell you, this, I like their passion. They don't care who you are. Even if there's a dog sign, they will knock on your gate. They will move from house to house. I like their lifestyle. If anybody's to marry, I'll tell him to marry from that place. They are, the ladies there are very easy. They don't celebrate birthday. They don't do Valentine. They don't do Christmas. They don't do New Year. No expenses. You don't spend on anything. All just buy them one bag and sanders. Hallelujah. That's by the wayside, please. But light, information. The grace to pick up the Bible to study. The grace to pick up, it's not that you cannot read. The problem is your mind has been attacked. You can read stupid things online, but you cannot read your Bible. You see, you can read nonsense and sit down, watch a video that does not add to your life. But to sit down and hear God's word. No! There are people like this. They will dance during praise. Jump up. As not as say sit down. Open your Bible. <laughs> I was talking to I was having counseling. So a man and the wife walked in. <laughs> so the man was rebuking the wife. That is anger with the wife is that the wife is idle. Like the wife is idle. Like Papa was saying today, hard work, hard work. I said today, when did I talk on hard work? He said, yes, something like that, something like that. I said, me. I said, no. You? I, he said, no, sir, you said something. I said, hard work. And the wife said, eh, he does sleep. I, I try to hold my laughter. Because in the act of counseling, nothing must come to you as a surprise. Even if it's a surprise. Ah, they deceived us in Bible school. Though. They told us many lies. When you're when you counseling, even if you're shocked, don't act, you're shocked. How can I be shocked and not act like I'm shocked? So even if you're shocked, you must pretend like you're not shocked. So by pretending like I'm not shocked, that's an expression of shock. <laughs> you don't get what I'm saying. When you say... Even if you are shocked, it's an act of counseling. If you're not counseling, they say, even if you are shocked, pretend like you are not shocked. So when they tell me I'm shocked, so I will be shocked, then I'll not pretend like I'm not shocked. So the man was sleeping. There are people never. There are people who have been in church and have never heard one message from beginning to end. Something, it, their mind is not illuminated. That is why people walk out of churches. They are not taught. The people are not your problem. The waves are not your problem. Your problems are your people are not taught. They don't have doctrines that guide them. They are not taught. He said to preach and to teach and to heal. That's the tripartite ministry of Christ. To teach, to preach, and to heal. Teaching, preaching, healing. The appetite, the unbridled, the voracious appetite to study, the crave, the passion to study, receive it right now. The baptism of study, receive it right now. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. Light. Uh, 
The second source of light is the prophetic. The prophetic. Sir, in as much as I believe in books, after you've read the books, you must depend on the spirit. There are things that are not in books. Can I surprise you? Can I surprise you? There are some things that are not even in the Bible. But the spirit that controls the things are in the Bible. So I believe there is what they call the spirit and the word dynamism. You must balance the place of the spirit and the word. God said we must worship him in spirit and in truth. Spiritual and truth. Truth is the revelation of God's word. Jesus was talking that total worship is that person that believes in the oppression of the spirit and believes in the revelation of the truth. The spirit and the word. You study and you depend also on the prophetic. One time there was about to be an attack on CBN in Abuja and I gave a prophecy. I said, please, people are parking their cars. They should pack it fast. I said, because I said this, they won't listen. I said, because I saw a fire incident in less than 48 hours. Is CBN in the Bible? The prophetic. Sir, there are certain people who are praying and praying and praying over a matter because the light of the spirit has not dawned on them. They continue struggling. There is the level of light the Holy Ghost illuminates in your spirit. That's why it's called prophetic. When a sudden light of awareness hits your spirit. When, this, when I was praying for a land, a church land, and the Lord said to me, I will give you a controversial land. But that land will settle the dispute of the controversy. I said, God, I don't want trouble. I don't want trouble. Just give me a land. I just want a land. He said, I'll give you a controversial land. I said, I don't want controversial land. Give me land. He said, but that land will settle the dispute. I said, how can land bring problem? And they say land settle problem. I don't want to. This hall I'm using now, they didn't chase me. It was a local government council hall that could take about a thousand people and I was paying months ahead. You pay per use, but I pay months ahead. I don't want problem. And the Lord said to me to pray for 40 days, 40 days prayer and fasting around this land. And I'll leave 12 midnight till 5, moving around Auchi. Praying, walk everywhere. I will pray around the whole place. 40 days today is that location i walk around i walked far now it's not about walking around it's the time it's the time 12 to 5 i was confronted with people i saw robbers i saw kinds of people but god said 40 days daily and i was doing it as i was praying walking down from they used to call it gola heights if you have been in town for a long time sabo area the extension as I was walking down, I was getting here, I was still walking. I had stop. I stopped. I turned and said, this is your land. Bush. I said, this is your land. I'm not going to tell you other things that happened when I came to anoint the place. The kind of animals. Owl that I saw. So, I spoke to somebody who was my relative who's an elder in the land. I said, look, 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 look. As I was talking about the, where the land was, it carried his hand and covered my mouth. Because there were people there. He took it inside. He said, you just marry. And the next month, you won't die. I said, no, I don't want to die. He said, shut up. That land, for more than a hundred years, two communities are fighting. Communities. They are dragging. You want to, hey! I refused. He said, can you take me to the palace? Went to the palace then. We sat down. And the man I sent was the Daudu. I saw him. Those in town know what Daudu means. And I, they told him the matter. He laughed. He said, how old are you? I told him. He said, how old is your wife? I told him. He said, okay. You're not too young to die. Eh? I said, not too young to die, care. What is this die, die that all of you are talking about? He said, you. you don't have sense. You didn't see land everywhere. 
which other land did you? My friend, I said, God, God said that is that place. Why are you coming to the palace to see us? Go and meet God. Why are you coming to tell us? I went on my knees and I said, Lord, that's not the place. I didn't tell my wife all these battles. How can you just marry a woman? And a few months you are telling her the land we saw. They said. So I went straight to Bin. They said, go and meet the Ministry of Lands. We went there. I met a man, he has retired now. He was the director. And we are talking. I said, I need a land for church. He said, okay, okay. And we have certain places that are located for government. I said, no, 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 I already have one. He said, okay, okay, okay. You have the paper. I said, no, not paper. I, I know it. I know the place. Which area? I talk, talk, talk. He said, there's no land. There's no land there. I said, there's land. He said, there's no land there. That area you are talking about, there's no land. No government allocated land. I said, there is land. When I mentioned the person, I said, wait, oh, is it opposite so, so, so? When you get to so, 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 when you come now, so, so, I say, yes. He said, and that's why you made me come to the office by 10 o'clock. If you want to die, won't you die alone? So I told him, I said, but I, I, God said it's my land. Hey, go and meet him. Father, what do I do? What do I do? I called the boys. We are about 15. I said, start clearing the land. No paper. Oh. I, said, I said, God says my land. Start clearing. After anointed and some animals died, I was clearing. When I was clearing, a group of people brrr, just came out. Who gave you? I said, God said. It's my land. Where paper? God said. It's my land. Uh -uh. This is your land. God told me it's my land. I said, clear. He started clearing. They cleared and cleared and cleared. So the people from two communities, one day met themselves there. This one to attack me. This one came to attack me. So I said, God says my land. This one says our land. This one says our land. I said, people can be fighting. Why they were fighting? People were walking. I put my hands at, put my hands at Kimbo. I cleared a portion and I erected a bacha. If you are around where there was a bacha there. I didn't have paper that time. Oh. Don't try this at home. <laughs> no paper. Bacha. We were worshipping God under the bacha. I will come to church. My eyes positioned on the road. <laughs> Told some people. I said, oh Lord, oh Lord. We had ushers there, no. They come to church with a Bible and a cutlass. With anybody, you anybody, any attempt or group of attempt, resist. God say, it's my land. And after a while, somebody called me, said, this thing you are doing is very good, but don't you think you should get paper? I said, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I went to Benin, they didn't give me. I went here, they didn't give me. He said, go back, tell them you have already taken the land. You want paper? So I went to Benin. I saw that man again say, Pastor, you again? I said, hey, hey, relax. I've started doing something on that land. They didn't stop you. I said, no, they can't stop me. Hey. He said, come on, let's talk. They have been fighting with us. So they took us to court. They took the state government to court. That is their land. I said, no, no, I've settled it. Give me paper. He said, hey. I said, yes, it's okay. Don't tell them I told you. This is how to get paper. Made it. But don't say, once you get that one, bring it, I will sign it. I said, don't worry. I went there. <laughs> I went back. They told me a form to get. I filled the form. Do this, do this, do this. He said, have you seen director? I said, I saw him. We have settled it. He said, no problem. We have settled it. He said, he said no problem. He didn't call us. I said, he doesn't want to call you. But he said, no problem. I should go. So I just came. They did what they did. This one went. I went back to him. I said, you said, if I bring this, you sign it. He said, how did you pass through this process? I said, I told you, God says my land. I'm the owner of that land. It's my land. Went there. He gave me papers. Pam. What they gave me then was a hundred by hundred. After about six months, I was praying. The Lord said, walk around. I was walking. I got to a spot, sir. I wasn't seeing bush. It was trees. I wasn't seeing men as trees. I was seeing trees as trees. The Lord said, enter. I said, ah, enter where? Enter. I said, enter where now? He said, enter. Forest! So I started entering. using my leg. I was praying, I was praying, I was praying, I was praying. I got to a spot. I said, no. At least I've entered enough. Mm. 
I walked away. There was a tall giant tree there. I left. As I left, I went to my office. I was alone. I said, what kind of nonsense is this? God said, I should just be walking around. God said, I want more of the lands. So I went back to them in Benin. I said, the place we have now is not taking us. I want more land. They said, yeah. I said, that's my land. I want to expand. They said, what dimension? I said, I don't know any dimension. 500 by 500, 300 by 300. Eh? It's your land. I said, God told me the whole area, that whole area is my own. Say, said, I'm the owner of the place. Eh? I said, yes. I said, okay. They came and they began to move around. When they started clearing, clearing the path, guess where they stopped? That tree that I stopped was where they stopped. So I stopped the move of God. So the man has said, let's come and show you what we can do. Follow us. By this time, they, they cleared paths. They cleared, not the whole place, they cleared the place we could pass. When they moved in, I was smiling because I've passed through that before, but it wasn't cleared. They said, now this tree, yeah, this way we're going to stop. So we'll clear. I said, eh? Hey! They said, what is that? Is it too small? I said, no, not you, not you. Hey! They gave me that and they gave me the document. As soon as they gave me the paper for that one, I told three brothers to follow me. I said, anyway, I enter, be clearing it. Any anyway, I'm entering, be clearing it. Any anyway, I'm entering, just be clearing it, be clearing it. I started going. 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 When I got to the place, there was a gully there. I said, okay, up to this place. Today, where I stopped is where the land stopped. We have an extra land now that can take five stadiums untouched. You have gone around, you see the place like a city. But there are still massive lands. Am I communicating here? The prophetic. Anytime you are stuck, you need to hear God. Anytime you are stuck is a proof that there is absence of divine life. In the name of Jesus, as you hear the sound of my voice, from this day, this day, from today, the word for your next level, the word for what you are to do next, the word for the step you are to take next, I decree it is communicated to you. You will no more be stuck. You will no more be stopped. You will no more be stranded. The word for your next level is communicated to you. I say it's communicated to you. A lady told me, Papa, I'm going for a visa interview. This was about 10 years ago. He said, there are three dates available to me. Which one should I choose? Those were periods when people were asking questions. Not now everybody has become wise in their own eyes. We saw more successes in people's lives then. Three dates are open to me, sir. Which day do I choose? And the Lord told me the one she was to choose. He said, no, sir, that day is very crowded. That one, they say it's tentative. I said, but that's the one God said you should choose. Say, hey, Jesus. Jesus. This particular date was gotten easy. But this one, they say my appointment will not be by eight. It will be by one. Meaning it's a crowded day. I said, but that's the one God said you should take. He said, okay, sir. She took that date grudgingly. She said, as soon as she gets, you know, there's a period you stay on the queue. A tout. Tout. Just walked in and tapped her. She's like, what have I done? Are you coming to the line? She said, no, I'll not be lying. He tapped her again. Find me something. He said, why? She said, find me something. Out of fear, she opened her bag and gave the guy something. The guy took it and held her hand. She was at the back of the line. Took her from the back. And started carrying her to the front. People were saying, they were screaming, where are you? When they turned and saw the tout. So it was a known tout in that area. Took her and brought her in front of the first person. And stood. He said, Claire. 
He said, stay there. He said, if anybody does anything, I'm outside. He left. The lady said she was shaking. They attended to her, attended to them. As soon as they attended to about three or four persons, the person that was attending to them stood up. And the first four people they gave to all of them. But as soon as the person stood up, the next person that came, you know, there are people that they are sad, you see. No, I'm telling you, they won't check your document. Oh. They won't check your document or check anything. They just, they woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Or somebody broke their heart. <laughs> they had a heartbreak from a Nigerian. So all Nigerians must remain Nigerian. No jackpot. You refuse. You re now, she got that because a word. I'm decreeing on you. The season of spiritual confusion, bankruptcy of direction, the spirit of wilderness, what keeps men in the realm of lack for long? I decree it goes into extinction. It goes into extinction. Be on your feet as we take two prayers. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it louder than that. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As, as I, I begin, begin to pray. pray. Every manifestation of witchcraft. Every manifestation of witchcraft. In my life and in family. Life. In my life and family. In my life and family. Expire. Expire. Open your mouth and fire. Please. Go and bring this. But the wife said, What do you love? It's transaction. There are many people who have brothers, sisters, people in their family who have traded others. 
They have traded the glory of others. These are realities. There are some who have traded the intellect, the mind. Most of the mad men you are seeing on the street didn't have mind problems. It was not hemp or smoking. Some woke up, just had a voice, call them out. Because somebody traded them. Mad people, you just some of them. They're just walking. Don't worry, there are a few people who, out of weed, smoking, their mind was abused. But there are some others who have no vice. There are no vices. But someone just fired insanity. Now, when you know it's insanity, is that in that insanity, there's a level of sanity. Can I ask you a question? How many madmen you don't hear say motor key? Madman, if you see a car coming. Is that, is that, not, is that not consciousness? It will. When the car passes, that's to let you know that something controls him spiritually. The one you call mad has lost the brain. It's the one that we sit down in the middle of the road. That's the one you say, okay, this one is mad. Not a mad man that he sees somebody coming. He, people are chasing him. He'll carry something. He wants to fight back. He has a consciousness. Those who are, you see them. Those are human beings that people have transacted and traded. There are some great men that have some children that they hide. The child's mind has been abused. The man has traded for how much? What fame? What power? What influence? The essence of wealth is for family. The essence of wealth is for family, not for you. And that's why when I talk about the Igbos, people are asking me why do I always like the Igbos. I like the Igbos. You see an Igbo man, he may be putting on one palm sandal. If you see his wife. His first son is cool in UK. He has a daughter. That one has grown now and married. He gave them a shop in China, a settlement. They take care. Am I saying the truth? And Nibo man will just be during December when he takes you to his village. That's when you know the house he has. But in the city, you see him we'll managing one flat. When he takes his house to the village, you'll be looking, see. Even not an ass. You see another man wear one kaftan. Slippers. But if you see his wife, when she comes out, it's only south south. Weary. They don't value women. I I'm sorry, you. But south south, Kai. They are the most anyhow kind of people. Anyhow. Anyhow, in South South, that man will be having issues with the wife. We'll collect the car key. Give me my car. Even phone. Bring the phone I bought for you. Responsible men don't take back gifts. Am I communicating here? When I see a person from the South South and I see the way he handles his marriage, I give him kudos. Thank you. Thank you. You can't take care of children. Job be born and became, born and became, born and became, born and became. You see a young child, 16, 17, he's already fending for himself, struggling to live. Men will take advantage of the young girl because of a, a responsible father that could not control himself in the afternoon and brought forth. We're going to pray against occultism. There are some of you, something happened in the spirit realm. Somebody, somebody, oh Lord. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Do you think if a person comes to you, he says he's occult, you will relate with him? 
they come, the Bible says Satan comes as an angel of light. You see, one of, one of the, this ministry is of God. I'm extremely careful. Have you ever seen me sell oil to you? Eh? Say oil? No, I'm careful because many things have been polluted. You want me to bless your oil? Bring your oil yourself. I won't give you one. Bring your own. We we'll bless it. But for me to say this oil, I'm buying oil and giving. No, I won't do it. And I have my reasons why. And that's why people bring problems to ministers of God. You go to church, then from church you enter one fellowship. From that fellowship another, you, you've acquired so many things. You now bring it to pastor on Sunday. Sir, I cannot be under this grace. And this is happening to me. Are you only under this grace? What of the fellowship grace? Terminate every occultic power that is contending our rising, either from family or from outside. Say, My Father, My Father, my father, my father. In, the in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, begin every, to pray. Occultic power, every occultic power contending my rising, contending my rising. Internally, or externally. internally or externally, break your powers. Break your powers. Break your powers. Break your powers. Open your mouth and fire prayer. <laughs>
established authorities Jesus Jesus the righteous by your blood by your blood you spoiled principalities you are Jesus you are Jesus by your, By your name, you established, established authority. You are Jesus, Jesus, Jesus the righteous, Jesus the righteous, Jesus. Jesus. You are Jesus. Jesus. You are Jesus. Moses, I will hide you. There's a place by me. I make this declaration and it is specific for families, individuals. You will move from being an individual to becoming an institution. Hey, Amen. I make the declaration witchcraft spells occultic operations their effect is terminated from you. Amen. I decree that this week oh. ushers you into a strange realm forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, Carlo Batas. Who is Priscilla? Come here. Who is Priscilla? Please remain standing. I see. I see. Oh, la bala shada sa. Yeah, my heart cry, Lord. Let her come, please. It takes you, you want to give somebody rapper, do it smartly. I wake up with the sound of music Master Jesus you came to me who has something to do with 2018 who has something to do with September 2018 what happened September 2018 I got married 2018 September stand up I wake up with the sound of music Master Jesus you came to me there are many times I finish a service and lots of people will crowd and said, when you called me, I was coming out, the usher stopped me. I hear that a lot because they want to give them rapper and the rapper is not readily available. Let them come out. Are you the pastor? You spend more than five minutes looking for rapper. Allow them come forward. When they come here, you can gently give to them. Don't just carry rap and give somebody as if you had the person in mind. Many times I'll be here waiting and the people have been stopped in the crowd. Many times. Calm down. 
Come and stand. I see in the spirits. See, there is a battle that must end. I saw a man. Look at me. I saw a man in the spirit realm. And I saw this man outside the country. I saw him outside the country. Are you listening? Yes, sir. I saw the man outside the country. I saw the man outside the country. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In Europe. Yes, sir. I saw him in Europe. And I saw something happen. I saw him in Sweden. Yes, sir. That is my husband, sir. He's in Sweden. Yes, sir. And I saw in the spirit realm, there are three things I want to talk to you. Number one is the family you come from. When it comes to the issue of marriage and the issue of conception, there's always a challenge. But that is going to end today. Amen. I saw you had a miscarriage. Yes, sir. You had a miscarriage. I saw you in the realm of the spirit. I saw you standing in an embassy for a visa. Yes, sir. And I saw a visa given to you. Yes, yes, sir. I saw you hold this visa. Yes. I saw you go to the Yes, sir. And I saw you in the realm of the spirit. I saw you land Europe. I see Germany. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And right there, people came to question you. Are you following me? Yes, sir. I'm following you, sir. And this is a desire to meet your husband. Yes. And they found some issues and complained. And they turned you. Yes. Back. Yes, sir. And deported you. Yes, sir. Immediately. Yes, sir. They didn't deport you. There is a force that says you must not stay together so that. Do you know you were pregnant? Before. You were pregnant. You were pregnant. And this man decided to leave. Yes. As soon as he leave, you lost it. Yes, sir. Because they say, why? Now you are going back again to meet him, to get pregnant. They say, you can't meet him. You will go this time. Yeah. Don't cry. You will go. You will go. In the name of Jesus. Abba Father, let any harassment, any form of harassment in the name of Jesus, it ends now. It ends now. Yeah. Now, what is AD? AD. AD. That is my husband's name. That's his name. Yes, AD. Yes. Today, tell him when I finish now, after this, we call him and tell him that you are coming to join him. Your time has come. Yeah. Who has a brother called Uchena? You were born 73. You were born 1973. You have a brother called Uchena. Let it be, let it be. There must be. Who is Chikodi? Who is Chikodi? Two of you, who is Chikodi? I'm the one. You are Chikodi? Yes, sir. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Someone's womb. I saw someone's womb that is coming out. Someone's womb. I don't know the lady is. So God, you show me someone's womb. He said, your womb comes out. You see your womb. Sometimes you push it back. If you're that category, I want to see you. Don't, I don't have time this month. This night, we're going to have time to prophesy. You push back. You push your womb back. Okay, let her come. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. There must be. Who is Roots? Roots, come here. Roots. Ash, 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 I shut. Take four steps to me. 
There must be an answer. I wake up with the sounds of music. Master Jesus came to me. I just saw a pastor. When you are preaching, when you are preaching, you avoid climbing the main part of your pulpit. You have to come down. Anytime you stand there, you notice there is this heat. This discomfort you feel. You will have to live there. When you come down, you feel comfortable. So you avoid going there. Run, sir. Your own pulpit. Your own pulpit. Something was buried there. Unknown to you. You didn't know. But you, 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 you live there. Yes. Once you leave that place, you are fine. Yes, but once I, you climb there. I will not be comfortable. I just like to be on ordinary floor like this. But for me not to be saying, why is that enough clap people be? So I will just climb the next thing. I will just run down. Sir. You are genuine. You are genuine. God said you are genuine. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. God knows his own. The, sub, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. The Lord knoweth them that are his. Let everyone that nameth the name of the Lord. Whatever they did. Is that someone screaming there? Why? Why is she screaming? Huh? She's blind. She's blind. And cannot walk. One person, blind and can't walk? Give me one minute, sir. One minute. Let it be. Let it be. Huh? Is blind to one minute, one minute. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. In the name of Jesus, may the heavens answer you. The Lord restore your sight. The Lord set you free. Free! Jesus' name. What is the man? What is the man? Let it be. If I pray for them, you examine them. Let it be. Let it be. How long has he been blind? Father, in the name of Jesus, where are you from? Ayengba, in Kogi State. In the name of Jesus, Father, restore his sight. Let him see. Let him see. Pick him up. Eyes in the name of Jesus. Open. Receive your sight in Jesus' name. Let it be. He said in South Korea in 2015, December 2015 in South Korea. Papa, you can see. Touch my head. Touch my shoulder, my shoulder. He can see. Thank you. Woman, woman. One year, six months. Blindness. Huh? What are you asking him? I'm asking that he can see me. I'm, I was asking whether he can Touch see me. Touch your wife's head. So what happened to the eye? I have a problem with my eye. I got up and uh, my eye was blurring, so I washed my eyes and I went to the hospital. They said they couldn't see anything. My father told me if they want to operate it, I should let it, them operate it. But the doctors. So what is wrong with the eyes now? Now, right now, when I close this eye, I can't see you. When you close this eye, you can't see with this one. Yeah. Where are you from? 
I'm from Canada now. You are from Canada. Yeah, my father. All of us are from Cameroon, and I came here with him as well. You're from Cameroon. Yeah, but, but you stay in Canada. Canada. Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch him. Amen. Restore his sight. Amen. Eyes open. Amen. Pick him up. Pick him up. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh. receive your sight. Amen. In Jesus' name, be healed. Amen. Healed in Jesus' name. Mighty man of war, Lion of Judah, we bow down. Come, we worship you. Lift your hands, fresh oil, touch Yahweh, 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 touch him. Come and do. And you got fire in your eyes. Come here, lady. And not in height. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. Listen. I'm seeing you as a leader in the family. I'm seeing you as a leader. I'm talking of Beth right as a leader. And there is a force that is resisting you from settling down. But listen, look at me. There's a force resisting you from settling down. Those you are leading, I see one of them or two of them settled. Yes, sir. But you to settle is a problem. In the name of Jesus. There was somebody God brought. There was somebody God brought. Yes, sir. Something happened. Yes, sir. When they were preparing, something happened. But today, in the name of Jesus, I tear that altar. Yes, you got fire in your eyes. Hey! Nothing hides from you. Come this way. You see everything. Power! The deepest secrets of men. Expose every evil. Everything that is hiding. Every wickedness. Anything hiding in your life is exposed in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. the occultic man, the witch, the wizard, uh -huh. who has mortgaged the family's destiny, uh -huh. who has traded the family's wealth, <laughs> let the ground swallow them. <laughs> Today we decree what they did, may they repeat now. <laughs> what they did, may it backfire. Uh -huh. Listen, you don't understand. One day we finished service. It was a Bible study. So normally I will come out and there are people standing by the car. And I just pray with them. I saw one of our daughters here bring forth the husband. His hands were like this. And he was moving his leg like that. There are people that even in the dark, pastor knows them. Because they are very relevant in church. I said, okay. I said, madam, you are in sanctuary. Say, yes, daddy. Daddy, see, oh, daddy, see. Ah. Your, what is this? I said, why is your hand like this? What is happening? She doesn't know. And I laid hands and prayed, and God had mercy. While he left me, he still left like that. So it wasn't as though after praying, the hands came down on the spot. Or the, he still, as he was going like that, I was angry. But the prayer I was praying was for him, the hand to drop, the leg to drop. So as he was going, there are miracles that are progressive. As he was going, he was still doing that. Ah, I was worried. Why is, why is he still like that? It's okay. I, was, I finished wonders without number. I was walking out of the studio. This was like a week later. I saw the man sitting down with the two hands on the chair at the reception. And I was walking out. I said, what happened? God has healed me. I hugged him. We rejoiced. But the wife stood. She was not happy. Now, calm down. She's not responsible. You're already thinking. The wife said, there's a problem. They want to pack out of here. They stay. I said, why? He said, when they got home that night, the man slept. 
Normally, we'll carry the man to go and urinate. This time, the man stood up himself, went to urinate. As soon as the landlord woke up, the landlord's hand went like this, the leg went like that. Now, that's not the problem. The landlord's children said, I go beat them. That why is it that when he left the man, it entered their father? So I told them, I said, is that why you want to pack out? They said, yes, we don't want problem. I said, don't pack out. Pack out when your rent expires. Don't pack out. Pack out. They can't take you to no court, nowhere. If you want to evict you, let them evict you. It's better they evict you and give you a refund. If they are angry, it went to their father. It means they know something about it. People are trading people. People are trading. There are transactions. In the name of the resurrected Christ, every demonic and ungodly transaction that has your name involved, that has your children involved, that has your interest involved, today I reverse it. I decree reverse. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Hallelujah. Worship him. Thank you, Lord. Worship him. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hold an offering. Hold an offering. Hold an offering. Reverend pastors, you wait for a minute. Dr. Fidi will address you. Hold an offering in your hand, everybody. We're coming back here by four. Right? Is it four? Four? Okay. We're coming back here by four to engage ourselves in prayers. Lift your offering and speak to it. We decree a blessing. We decree openings in Jesus' name. O Lua, etobi, etobi, yo, etobi, o Lua. I told you. I told you. I told you. Said it we shall come with a hope. I told you. Said it we shall come with a hope. I told me all, I told me Send it down and we shall wait a whole I told me
say my happiness don't say increase my increase my wealth my intimacy call them Jesus name I speak a blessing upon you grace upon you in Jesus name my head is a good head my life is a good one and just fight for me greatness on my side goodness shall follow me no matter what the matter is I can't hear you no matter what the matter is somebody say my time has come how are you see you by 4 p.m. God bless you